So I just wanted to give a brief introduction to what the IONS are and why we do them, uh, but also a little bit of introduction to um, who the Internet Society are uh, and why we're here. So many of you may be aware of what we do, but um, we are actually a global organization of um, a combination of members, um, chapters, various um, uh, organizational partners. And we're here to um, promote the open development um, and use of uh, the internet. That's our, our underlying mission. So we're there to, to, to encourage the, um, I hope that's not a nomen, um, but uh, we're here to uh, encourage the open development of, of protocols and standards, but also uh, the way in which the um, internet is, is governed and administered as well. Uh, we're probably best known as being the organizational home of the um, the Internet Engineering Task Force, or the IETF, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, later. Um, we have another role to also be a source of reliable information about the Internet and also um, facilitate some discussions about uh, the issues that uh, surround and affect the uh, Internet evolution and its developments. Um, we have a role in uh, to try to foster the growth of the Internet through um, education and training, um, we have a role there. Um, and then we also have a program um, to encourage participation um, in the internet through uh, new leadership, um, particularly in the other areas of um, the ITF and um, regulators. So, as I mentioned, we have a global presence. Um, there's more than 110 chapters worldwide. Um, there's a if you're not aware, there's a, a, an ISOC chapter in, in Pakistan, um, the um, ISOC Islamabad. Um, I think there's a representative here, or there was a representative here this morning, um, but he, he's been here all week. Um, over 80,000 um, members and supporters, um, 145 organizational members. And then we also have uh, six regional bureaus. There's, there's one covering the Asia Pacific region. Um, you, you probably know already Naveed Haq, um, who is from Pakistan, so he's working in our Asia Pacific Bureau, uh, and he's been here this week as well. So, moving on to the Deploy360 program. Um, so, this is, this is something that we, we um, um, have at LISOC. Um, and it sort of aims to be a bridge between the IETF and um, people who are actually deploying networks. Um, so the IETF is creating the protocols um, based on open standards. Um, but some of these are not necessarily known or widely deployed. Um, and also trying to um, translate the information from, say, an RFC into actual real-world deployment can be sometimes a little bit unclear. Uh, so we're here to, to try to fill that gap and to um, you know, provide some our experience and advice on, on how you might undertake this. Um, so we have sort of four um, main focuses, um, I suppose you would say. Um, primarily, we're, we're focused on IPv6 and DNSSEC deployment. So we'll have two um, um, presentations on that this morning. We're also quite, um, we have a, a, a focus on um, deploying TLS, so encryption um, on the wire, on the internet. And we also have a role in, in um, um, looking at how to secure uh, the routing system. So again, we'll have a presentation on that um, later in the workshop. So what we do, we work with people who are sort of early adopters of these technologies, um, and we bring their experience to um, through various resources and through the ION conferences um, to help sort of spread that knowledge. So there are four of us in the uh, Deploy360 team working on this. Um, three of us are actually here. Um, I've had to unfortunately put Aftab in an inset. He's a new addition to uh, the team. Um, we haven't been able to get him up a mountain yet to take the team photo. So this photo was actually taken near the top of Mont Blanc um, a few months ago. Um, Aftab wasn't with us then. But 
Um, my colleague Jan Zorge is here. Um, he's been talking to a few of you earlier this week. Um, Aftab Tadiki, who I think many of you already know, um, local to Pakistan, and also now a recent addition to the team, and uh, myself. Um, Megan is actually watching on the streaming um, back in the US, hopefully. So we have um, three, three, maybe four main strands. Um, there's a web portal. Um, this is where we keep our technical documents and our case studies and our tutorials that we collect and put together. Um, we also have uh, do a lot of blogging um, on top technical topics that might be of interest to um, the community. Um, that's through various channels, primarily on the website, but this is also, also on Twitter and, and Facebook. We have channels there. On YouTube, uh, we have a number of uh, videos, tu video tutorials there. Um, the ions are also recorded. This will be recorded and put on the on our YouTube channel. We have the series of ion conferences. Normally, we're organising um, four or five of these a year in various places around the world. Um, this one is the first for 2017. We'll have three others or four others, perhaps, um, later in the year in different other parts of the world. And then we're also available to come and talk at network operator group uh, events. Um, Jan is usually the, the person that does that, but Aftab is our recent addition and he will be doing that as well. So if you're running a network operator group, so we, we heard about the formation of PKNOG, we're very happy to come and, um, and, and talk there. So I mentioned the web portal. This is the URL. Um, we try to divide the content into uh, specific areas of interest, so there's something for everybody. So I, you would say probably the int mostly of interest is the network operators. Um, but we're also looking to put information up for um, developers and content providers, for example, enterprise customers. Um, and so you can go there and you can um, you can select the, the topic of specific interest to you, um, and uh, they usually find some resources there that's specific to that that. Um, area of expertise. But just to give you an example, I just wanted to highlight two of the resources we have on here. Uh, we have many others, um, but these are two that we've developed ourselves. Um, my colleague Jan Soj developed NAT64 Check. Um, this is something that uh, is a tool that allows you to check whether your website displays properly using IPv6 or um, dual stack. Um, we also have another tool, again, developed by, by Jan, um, which is looking at uh, BGP peering policies, um, compared IPv4 and IPv6 peering policies, and seeing you know, who is connected to who in the internet with which protocol. And that's actually quite a useful uh, uh, tool. So I just wanted to highlight those two in, partic in particular um, as an example of the things that, that we have on, on the website. Um, we're also maintaining um, the DNSSEC deployment maps. Um, so this is providing an, o an overall view of where DNSSEC is being deployed. Um, this is compiled in various ways. Um, it's observed information as well as um, technical information. Um, there are actually regional maps. So this is the global view. Um, there is a regional map of the Asia Pacific region. Um, Unfortunately, I would like to highlight that Pakistan is not currently DNSSEC enabled, but I think you're working on that. Um, we're working on that, and there'll be more on that. Uh, Champika, I think we'll talk a little bit more about that in the next presentation. But um, so we keep track of you know, who is who is uh, using or where DNSSEC is enabled in which uh, CCTLDs. And uh, something else we, we're working on is the uh, best current operational practices. Um, so this is a, an initiative um, largely led by Jan, um, collecting together the, the, the sort of best practices um, in different areas of, of internet operations um, and trying to write this down. Um, a lot of the sort of information on how the internet works or how the internet should be deployed um, is very much talked about in hallways. Um, over uh, sort of discussions in, in dark corners of, of network, network operator group meetings. And this is sort of an initiative to try to bring together all that information and, and, and document this. Um, 
probably the most active uh, initiatives are in uh, Europe, which is the RIFE region. Um, again, Jan is the co-chair of the BCOP task force in Europe. Um, I've highlighted a few of the uh, BCOPs that have been developed recently. Um, there's also an initiative ongoing in, the, in North America. Um, they have a number of BCOPs that have been made available. And then there was also a recent initiative in Africa. Um, about 10 BCOPs were produced there. Um, I think they're not published yet, but they should be shortly. Um, but they uh, uh, will be made available um, sometime, hopefully very soon. The reason I, I brought this up is because it's actually an Asia-Pacific initiative now. Um, um, this was started, I think, about two years ago um, at April 2015. Um, but there's actually going to be a BCOP meeting organised at the next APRICOT uh, conference, uh, which is in Vietnam, and that will be um, chaired by my colleague Aftab, and Yan will be there as well. Um, so that's going to be an attempt to um, initiate some, some BCOP work in, in, in this region. But we're always open for ideas for new, um, for new documents, new drafts. Um, this is not something that, that we want to be leading. We want this to be a community-led initiative. Um, so if there's ideas for things that need to be documented or people are willing to contribute something towards a, um, um, a B Corp effort, then we're, we'll be very happy to hear from them. And that also applies with the uh, content that we have on, on the website. Um, we're, we're very reliant on, on the community, uh, so if you're aware of resources or tools that, that would be useful and that we can reference on, um, on our website, please please let us know. Um, we, we, give you, we give you the credit for that. We're not claiming this is, this is our, uh, this is our um, these are our resources. We're just a reference point and we're trying to collect all the best tools and the best information that we can find in, in, um, in these technologies. So moving to the agenda, so um, we have uh, we have a, a presentation um, following on from myself from um, Champika from ICANN. He will be talking about how deploying uh, DNSSEC. Um, following on from that, um, we have a talk from Jan Zorj. Um, this is a, will be a, a discussion about um, um, the Dane technology and how that works with DNSSEC and how this can be used um, um, with digital certificates. I'm going to talk a little bit about the IETF, what's happening there and how you can get, evol uh, get involved. And then we'll move to uh, talk about a, a practical example of collaborative security that um, we're working on at, at ISOC. So Mind Your Manners is um, uh, related to um, uh, routing, um, routing collaboration. Then we'll have discussions on um, IPv6, what's happening, uh, and followed by a panel discussion to, to close the workshop. So just before I invite Champika up, I'd just like to thank um, our ION series sponsor, Affilius. Uh, they've sponsored us for a long time, um, and uh, we, we thank them for their ongoing support. And then for the local hosts, um, PTA and the Higher Education Commission, um, who have also hosting us and provided us with support and enabled us to come to Pakistan. <laughs>